Hi guys, um, just going to tell you about a little bit of uh, adapting I've done to the GoPro. Um, the main, main reason why I always like the drift is because it's much user friendly um, for a motorbike um, with the exterior mic. The GoPro, um, you know, hasn't got it easily. So what we've done, we've made up a boom mic. Just made it out of a bit of copper wire and some heat sleeve. Um, I bought the microphone in the pound shop um, for a pound. Um, it works perfectly. Um, so there you go. Um, and what we've done, we've drilled a hole in there where the GoPro fits in, uh, where the microphone jack is, and that when you if you do do it drill it out so it fits exactly in there uh, it might take a bit of a while don't rush it otherwise you're going to cock it up because you've got to do it with lots of steps uh, start off with a very small drill get bigger and bigger and bigger use a very small um, needle file and make sure you get it right that's a nice tight fit um, a little bit of silicon button that i found um, to make it, it probably does make it waterproof again but i bought another housing anyway they're quite cheap got it off of ebay um, and that just squashes in there just like that finished job I mean that is going to fall out that's there um, I'll show it to you on the helmet it just it just slips in the cheek just slips in the cheek I'll show it to you here we go guys there's the boom boomer mic um, you can get over your head quite easily um, and it uh, closes down the helmet no trouble at all um, and it's adjustable, it bends around, and it just pushes in, as simple as that. Right up to your lips, no trouble at all. We're going to try it out, because I haven't tried it out. Uh, before anyone asks me, this cable is to plug into my bike, which is hardwired to the um, Garmin, which um, I always play music. Um, so there you go. And that obviously, oh dear, that just plugs into there. So I can just do some vlogging while I'm going along, hopefully. Not too much wind noise because it's got a what they call a sock over the top of the mic. Anyway, we're going to give it a try, see if it works. Catch you later. Right, hi guys. We're out in the country today on the GS, and the reason why we're doing this is because I'm trying out my new microphone setup on the GoPro um, just to see what it's like. So, um, I might be waffling on for half an hour talking to myself like an idiot and it doesn't work and then I'll be none too happy. But anyway, you can have a look at the scenery of the uh, English countryside while we're scooting down these little lanes which you know I love doing. So here we go. Um, yeah, the, the reason why I've done this is because the reason why I love the, the drift over this one because it is more biker friendly than this is that um, it's got an exterior mic and it's very easy just to plug it in and um, it's easy to get on and off and everything else um, and this was lacking in that um, so I haven't been doing many vlogs I'm not really into vlogging I must admit so um, you're in for a bit of a treat today guys because I'm vlogging yeah oh my god it's a bummy right yes I'm vlogging I hope I don't meet a double decker bus down here so um, I'm just gonna waffle on about bugger all really anyway this horse went into a bar and the barman said why the long face oh yeah I know it's an old one I just thought I'd get you guys just sort of um, loosened up a bit while I waffle on um, which way should we go? That way or that way? Yeah, we'll go that way, shall we? <laughs> I lied. Right. Oh, I've still got my music on. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear this. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Um, ah, oh, it's a bit of Fleetwood Mac. I love this track. Can you hear it? Hard luck. <laughs> right, um, yeah. 
don't know, what's this? An old Wolseley, look. Anyone want to buy an old Wolseley? <laughs> and you can get out of the way, pheasant. Don't you bloody dare. <laughs> Right, what we're going to do, we're going to have a... I'm going to have to turn this off a minute. That's better. It's um, a bit misty. It was lovely and sunny when I left. Um, and it's gone all misty. So I don't know what it's going to be like. But it's ten and a half degrees. It's not too bad. It's dry, so we're out on the bike. Haven't been out in the... GS4 since I've come back from France hardly I don't think. Anyone gonna waffle on? Um, gonna pop down into Stoke by Nayland. Yeah I thought this corner would have a lot of gravel in it for some reason. I don't know why, I just sort of had that sort of sense. Look at all these pheasants. What? You know, you suddenly, you can get a sixth sense about things on motorbikes, can't you? When you've been riding a few years, you seem to sort of think, I bet there's a tractor around this corner, and there is. <laughs> oh, used to gear there. Twain. Um, right, um, we're going to drop down into Stoke by Nayland, and then cut across country, and then I'll just see where we end up. Um, see how it goes. Um, when I get into Stoke by Nail, I'm going to tell you a little story and see what you think. I'm not going to tell it yet because I don't know how well this microphone's working. Um, so if I go a bit slower, you might be able to actually hear it. Or hear me, I mean. Right. What do you say, Freddy Frog? You mean old bollocks. Yeah, a cheeky little monkey. Hmm. Swear at me. Did you hear him swear at me? Anyway, we're going to go this way. <clears throat> and we're going to turn in here, and then I'm going to tell you a little story. And I want you to uh, give me your opinion.